Now then, how are we all doing? So I'm just doing a few little videos on my uh, restoration work that I carry out. This tractor, we uh, overhauled this tractor many, many years ago now. I just started to show a few signs of uh, its age, let's say again. So we're going to take a look at the back brakes. You didn't matter to you, make life nice and easy. Most nuts are 11 sixteenths, standard size, or an inch and one sixteenth. Makes life so much easier. So we'll just crack these off. And then we'll give her a jack. Found herself a quality jack out. Why is it everything modern is just not quite as good as it used to be? So I've changed my mind where I'm going to jack it, I'm going to put under there and hopefully it should just put this side up nicely. So what the problem has been, uh, this wheel seems to be locking up, so I'm guessing there's just something amiss in there. I'm sorry if I'm telling you how to suck eggs, but it makes life so much easier if you don't have the jack too high to get the wheel off nice and safely. I've got an axle stand on here as well, hopefully now it should just pop off. At least everything's nice and light on these. Guess the other added benefit of working on something that's already been restored as well, it should be much easier. As anyone probably knows that does videos, sometimes the most difficult thing about doing a video is holding the phone. <laughs> so, we'll just use a little impact hammer to get these off, and hopefully, she'll come straight off. Before I even get the, try and get the drum off, I'm just gonna back it off a little bit on the shoes. See it, turn it, pull it forward. We'll make sure it's fully off before we try and get the shoe off. This tractor's now done 6,000 hours, and to my knowledge, it's never had any brake shoes on, so we, uh, we'll see what it looks like. It's not as bad as I thought. It's not as bad as I thought at all. Hmm. Obviously those linings are quite well down. But there's a little bit left on them if I'm honest. Yeah, a little bit. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some pure alcohol, give them a clean with that, and then perhaps just rough them up a bit. And <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah, I can't see a problem with it. So as I can see. We we'll shine that up a little bit. And we're just taking the sheen off that slightly. Make sure this lines up correctly in the right place. We're just there. Right. So screws back in. There's a bit of copper slip on them already. We can go in a bit easier. You'll see the rust killer. Used to, used to be a good product that. Hammerite rust killer. Done its job on this tractor. Just a little nick. So got the wheel back on, it's not tight yet. So I'll uh, adjust the brakes up. Uh, I don't know if the people do this, but I always put the wheel back on first because he much easier to adjust the brakes that way so now that's adjusted fully up and the wheel won't turn at all so give it a few clicks off now till it turns freely the reason you tighten it right up is to make sure you bed the shoes in you're starting to move now So we can just see it's binding slightly, but it's turning real free, so which is perfect. Just looking at the tire, if like me, you got your tires from a Fergie drill. See this was the curb side on this side, is round this side off. All the other sides are really good. As you can see, they're straight apart from that one. So it's telltale sign it's been on a Fergie drill. So just drop the jack down enough to take the weight for the wheel. I've just got a strong bar on now and just give them a little nip. 
Make sure they're nice and tight. Right? We'll do the other side now and see what's in there. I've just whipped this one off. And it's... I've got a funny feeling that I forgot. And we have actually changed the shoes in it. Because there's nothing at all wrong in there. So I'm just going to get the wheel back on. Get it adjusted up. And we'll see what we've got. The only theory that I can come up with is that... Both of my father don't particularly use the brakes much. And I wonder if you just got glazed over. You know, from like road runs and things. Perhaps. Dunno. Now I've got this brake nicely adjusted up. We're just going to check it by physically pushing my hand on the brake. I need two hands for this. But they do go down to about the same place. So lock that back in. Take it for a spin. We've got the lorry out. Let's see if she'll start now. I don't know about with your 3 to the 35, but if you don't get the heat just right, it won't start. I don't know why, it's always been the same. Comment below if yours is just the same. I normally listen for the pop, but I can't hear for the lorry. Absolutely perfect, the brakes now. We're just having a check, quick check, make sure they don't get getting hot, and that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button for me if you wouldn't mind, and subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed. I will be doing more videos on this tractor, because um, when I first restored this tractor, there was a bit of a conspiracy, because it is a 35X without a diff lock, but believe it or not, there were slots without diff lock pedals. So I'm going to do a video on the 35 and the 35X at some point. So thanks for watching, people.